Welcome to the Daily Devo. My name is Randy. Today we're talking about Jesus reconciling all things to God. In the book of Colossians, we find the writer telling us about this wonderful news, how God has reconciled us to himself through Jesus. Let's listen to today's verse in Colossians chapter 1, verse 19 and 20. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. What a comforting statement. All his fullness dwells in him. Everything you and I need to live a life pleasing to God is found in Jesus. But what does it mean? to be reconciled to God. In the first book of the Bible, Genesis chapter 1 to chapter 3, it tells us about the creation of mankind and the relationship they had with God. This beautiful story tells us how mankind would walk and talk with God in the garden daily. Then mankind sinned. It created a distance in their relationship. It disrupted and broke this beautiful exchange between mankind and God daily. As years went by, mankind grew farther and farther apart from God. Years became decades. Decades became centuries. So here we are with a dilemma. How do we get that relationship back? No matter how hard mankind has tried through the years, we couldn't get it back. But here's the beauty of the verse in Colossians. Through Jesus, God reconciled everyone even those yet to be born to himself. He did this once when Jesus died on the cross for our sins instead of us. This word reconciled means to reestablish proper, friendly, interpersonal relations after they've been disrupted or broken. God has restored your and my relationship with him as if it has never been broken in the garden. We can get up every morning and go to bed every night talking to God. We can tell him everything, our hopes, our fears, our challenges, our dreams, and know he will talk with us. God is wanting to meet with you and to walk with you and to talk with you daily. Imagine waking up tomorrow, grabbing your coffee and checking your bank account, only to realize overnight someone put a million dollars in it. At first, you might be highly suspicious and doubt it. After doing the research, you discover, yes, it's true. But for some reason, you refuse to accept it. Each month, you struggle to put food on the table, pay your rent, pay utilities, and buy clothes. We live this way for many years, struggling just to survive. Meanwhile, the whole time, your bank account has a million sitting there. This is what has happened. Jesus paid the price and has done the work for everyone to be reconciled to God. But so many today still won't believe or refuse to accept this free gift and live a life struggling to make it. The writer here in Colossians expands on this idea in the last part of this verse and says, making peace through his blood. This phrase, making peace, means to make things right. Where in your life do things need to be made right today? Maybe you've taken the first step and you're reconciled to God, but today in your heart it's broken, or you're struggling to find peace in your mind. The word reconcile means to reestablish interpersonal relations after they've been disrupted or broken. Let's invite him today to reconcile our hearts, to reconcile our minds, Let's invite God to reconcile all things in our lives so that we might step into all that God has provided in Jesus and begin to live in peace in all of our lives.